It's not that hard, guys. You just have to put... You can tell this horse is really healthy by how strong its back is. This is a fish. He was going to be killed for his leather and meat. How about you show us that little baby in there, huh? Oh, look at all those... You just gotta put their whole hand in your mouth. Good morning, everybody. My friend Pam, who's a rehabber in Belton, just gave me some extra cages. Okay, guys, here it is. I got my Lizzo shirt and my Mater Crocs. Uh, today, this is uh, we're rescuing a horse. Take a look at how nasty this little horse is. When people don't want horses anymore for some reason, they'll give them to either kill pens or people that uh, just don't really care and will take a free horse. Uh, and that's what happened to this guy. He was gonna be killed for his leather and meat. As you can see, uh, you can see almost all of her adorable looks little ribs here. I'm gonna be naming her Arthur Morgan, I think. Look at this, you guys. Her nails are definitely overdue for a trimming. So we need to hire a farrier to come out here and help with that. Look at this, you guys. Look how nasty that is. Disgusting. But take a look at this, you guys. Isn't this nice? You can tell this horse is really healthy by how strong its back is. Thankfully, Uncle Ben knows a thing or two about balking. So I'm gonna be teaching this horse how to balk up for the uh, winter season. I'm gonna be careful about standing behind them. I actually have little to no horse experience, you guys, at all. But I have the great displeasure of knowing many horse girls. But I'm going to go ahead and just start giving her a really high protein and high fat feed. She's probably about 12 years old, so she's not a baby, but she's also not old. And I'm a big guy, you guys. I'm about 210, 215 pounds. Most of that's lean muscle mass. And she should apparently be rideable. But don't worry, I'm going to be taking care of this horse. I'm going to be balking it up. And then in actually uh, probably about one or two months, but hopefully one, if we start giving it steroids, uh, <laughs> should be strong enough for me to actually be able to ride it. But okay, guys, this is Arthur Morgan. This is the before video. I'm taking a quick before video. Here, hold this. Hold this. Hold it. So she used to just live in up to here with mud and without any fresh water. Look at this scab, you guys. She's really sweet. She's okay with me screaming in her face. Look at these nasty eye boogies that she had. Disgusting. Obviously, this is not enough grass for her to just live on for the next two months. So I'm going to be getting tons and tons of hay put in this barn for her. Also, this is where the babies in Kumala will sleep at night. I have a little bit of alfalfa and a ton of Bermuda grass in there. And they don't really seem to tear up my bee suits. So it's kind of nice to just keep them in there with. And the eagle flight pen has no eagles so for the entire winter i could just let her come in here and graze too and surprisingly this is all rye so this is the best time of year to have her back here grazing on all of this nice winter rye i'm gonna go ahead and clear out all the stuff from in here i'm just gonna go ahead and fill this all up with hay she has this entire barn to spend the entire winter in if we get any 15 degree freezing raining days again she'll be just fine in there i'm gonna take this off her so she can go ahead and get comfortable out here but look how cute the baby and his wife are hey guys i'll show you a look at the undercarriage here as you can see this is me it's me holding a foot she right there that pouch gets bigger and bigger every day look at that you guys it's only a matter of time before we start seeing a little face peek out of there the baby and the eagle pen for today first i was upset about him jumping in here but now i realize he's just gonna trim all this grass for him. i might just keep him in here for today and now that we're done with this enclosure this would actually be a fine place for him and his wife to live but look how beautiful this is you guys this is a lot more reasonable than what it was before and the baby's wife could honestly just move in here with them and we could make that a nice little house for her. I really don't want her to get stepped on or maybe even kicked by the female horse so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of move her back. But okay now that she's in here I'm gonna go ahead and clean out all this extra wood and other material that we had in here. And she's got plenty of fresh water. Oh she's real excited about this. Well 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 these boys found the mother love. Arthur! Arthur! Get back inside, Arthur. Cappy in the yard again for today. Okay, we got a ton of hay just dropped off. Now I'm going to drive back here and drop off. Oh, no, I've already destroyed the grass. But look at this, guys. I can drive right on back here. We really need to start watering this. Who can I blame this on? Hey, Dad. The horse is here. Hey guys, I just gave it the dewormer. Uh, now we have some fly spray because I know it's getting attacked by flies. This is a salt block. It actually tastes real good. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give this salt block to our little adorable baby boy. Yeah, that's what you like to see, guys. It's good for her to get these minerals. Nothing's too good for my princess. I've had her 15 years. I'm always spoiling her. All right, everybody, the horse is now comfortable being in the barn, and the floor is strong enough to hold it up, thankfully. I have to keep it away from the alfalfa, because if it eats all this alfalfa, it could get colic and die. You can't just be letting her free feed on the alfalfa. Goodbye. Hooray, and now she can't get to the alfalfa. All right, everybody, now he has a lick tub. She has a lick tub. Her name is Arthur Morgan. Got salt, tons of hay. Later, we went to the fish store to get some minnows for the water buckets, because there's a lot of mosquito larvae in there. I saw 
saw this fish getting sucked on by one of his buddies. I told you guys that the goats use the trampoline. You guys all said, oh, Uncle Ben, the goats use the trampolines, then why don't you show us? Guys, they do use the trampolines and they jump on it with the dog. And I still have Kevin in here for the time being because I don't want him to run around and attack me. Okay, guys, I'm the rosy red fairy. I'm the minnow fairy and I'm going around uh, giving little minnows to all the little bodies of water here. What they do is they eat the mosquito larva and they keep the mosquitoes down. Even though it's a lot colder here, we don't have tons of mosquitoes. There's still a lot of larva in these livestock tubs. These guys need barely any oxygen, especially when it's as cold as it is now. And they will just go to town on all of the larva that's in here. Remington's in here for some reason. I literally haven't seen her in like weeks. I'm gonna come on in here and check on her real quick. Hello, my precious little Remington. If she's, oh, look at all those turkey eggs. And she's a good broody hen, but there's no males here. So it really doesn't make sense for her to sit on these eggs at all. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these, even though it's gonna make her sad. But this is what what a turkey nest looks like, you guys. Look at all those. See how they have these precious little speckles on them? These are gonna taste delicious. And I knew she was laying eggs, but I didn't know that she went broody. But okay, I'll put a bunch of fish in here for this horse. Rest I put in here for this adorable little creature. And she might actually, she's the only one that would actually probably try and eat the fish. Sadly, this one did not survive the ride home. So I'm gonna go ahead and just feed this to Garbanzo Bean. Come on, buddy, eat the fish, not my finger. Not my finger, look, there's a fish here. Come on, buddy. No, eat the fish. This is a fish. Why is he doing this, you guys? I have a fish right here. Eat the, yeah, there he goes. He ate it. There you go. I think he was just an abandoned duck in downtown Waco only a couple months ago. And she was just an injured wild mallard a couple months ago. So Kumala's back in this yard because Kumala wandered back here. And I'm okay with letting them wander up here now. We don't have anything for them to chew on or anything bad in the front, but they just bark at each other nowadays. Ever since Kumala was outcasted by Sylvester and Gordon Quandale, basically just bark at each other from the other sides of the fence and they'll even bite each other through the fence. But both the girls, Gordon Quandale, like me, but Kumala and Sylvester are both not friendly with me at all anymore. But I got a lot of wood to burn tonight. Take a look at this, you guys. We went ahead and put the handrails on this adorable little room here. Now I just need to order the drywall, the insulation for that. Probably have a mini split system running AC to it from the outside. So that way we can keep it nice and warm in there for reptiles. Patrick here is still doing very well and he doesn't have any more flies attacking him and annoying him because of that little spider that lives there. Okay, here we are. I'm filming another video for you guys because I want to keep you guys updated on everything that's going on. <laughs> we are getting a lot of work done off camera. Oh, here's some nails. Don't know if I like that. Did you get a little video of my giot? Right up here, we have a beautiful little place where somebody can sleep. This is where Tank will sleep. He's gonna move back here to Waco and he's gonna live up here. That way Tank can keep an eye on our adorable little Patwick. From here, I can keep an eye on Pob and Queen. You can see from here that they need to be fed. Hello, Pabo. It's only a matter of time before we're having to run around catching escaped mockingbirds and hawks in this little place. Pretty soon, it'll be an actual little rehab facility. Even though it basically already is. And we finally have a nice place for our interns to sleep. Also, here's a little treat for you guys. Garbanzo beans like to be picked up and thrown in the air so he can practice flying. You want in the tree? This is the most precious thing. And both Garbanzo beans and Ligma beans, as I calls them, are both very happy here in their very sweet little cup. And here's a one of a kind underwater view of what his adorable little feet look like when he's swimming. Look at this little belly. Come on, Kumala. Kumala has been so distant lately. As you guys can hear from my breathing, and the reason why I haven't been posting is because I've been sick for the last two Two weeks, I think I got the Ronus. Hey guys, welcome back to Gabby Bar Mug Bag. Kumala is going to be eating an apple. And this is the first time I'd fed him anything in a while. He was a little traumatized after he but got attacked. As you can see, take a look at his little scar. But see, guys, it's not that hard to fight a kangaroo. You just need to grab their little arms and suck them. You just gotta put their whole hand in your mouth. It's not that hard, guys. You just have to put the whole hand in your mouth. It's not dangerous. <laughs> hey, Dad. The horse is here. But the baby and his wife also have plenty of space to sleep in in here. So when it gets a little bit cold, they can just bed in all of this hay. How about you show us that little baby in there, huh? How about you let us take a little peek at that little baby in that path? I also went and bought some feed that's specific for Patrick Bateman's. That's what he's gonna look like. This precious little man will one day big creepy ah uh ah -uh creature. Of all the places she could be standing right now, she decides to break the boxes. And I spread some hay out for Arthur to sleep. In. You happy? Now we have a lot more room for volunteers to come and park here. And we finally covered up that nasty old pad there. It used to have a house on it. But I suppose that's enough work for tonight. And it's only four in the morning. <laughs>
and it's going down into the low 30s tonight so i don't want these guys to get cold and on top of all that i got her this little ball here she sure does love the salt block also these minnows in here are thriving and they've eaten most of the larva already and the baby just doesn't know what to think of this big old thing he might actually yeah Wow. But thanks so much for watching my video, you guys. I love you. I appreciate oh. you. And I'll see you in the next. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, uh, see, you didn't see that coming. It was a voiceover. <laughs> if you made it this far, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.